Lady of Harrods took over. Christy Lee wants to duck in. I've got the looks is starting to shoulder out now. And then fine bubbles. I've got the looks has hit the front on the farewell to the Walter Stable Day. And I've got the looks wins it from Christy Lee. Third home was fine bubbles. And then in behind them next we had Lady of Harrods. Followed further back by Niobe and then Melberg, followed by Breakfast in Bed, and last in was What Luck. Number four, I've got the looks uh, for an emotional Blake Shin and Wendy Walter lands uh, the prize first up, beating the favourite Christy Lee, and number six, Fine Bubbles runs third. And you can just see how much that meant to Blake Shin as he went past the post. He gave uh, this chestnut with the uh, really nice markings, a good pat down on uh, the neck as he went past the winning post, and a nice little salute. And what will be a, certainly a very memorable win for all concerned. Yeah, Brent, it's an emotional day for these guys, Peter Robel as well, and uh, and uh, Blake Shin. I mean, these guys have put a lot of work into uh, the Walter Stable since the sad passing of Guy, but a uh, great win by the horse in the end. I mean, they it was they went along at a reasonable sort of gallop, and this horse settled back in the field and came with a nice run. Christy Lee looked like it would be the winner again, but hung in again, so she does still continues to do a few things wrong, but all honours with the winner. It was a lovely win by I Got the Looks. Yeah, she really had to uh, muscle her way into the clear over the concluding stages, and uh, some great emotions shown there by Blake Sheen as he gets the uh, the win on I've got the looks pays 440 and 170 on the tote beats Christy Lee and fine bubbles runs on for third uh, four one and six the numbers and Jason Richardson is now with Peter Robel well Pete congratulations to you and the entire stable it's a really emotional day and it was very fitting that that we get a win yeah it was you know uh, as you say like you know the day's been built up all week and um, like Blake you know, he rode a well, rode a conservative to hit the line and, you know, it just capped off, you know, a great day that we could take home a winner. She Didn't she present beautifully for a first up run? You were confident she was going to run like that? Yeah, she she come from Goulburn three or four weeks ago. Uh, John Bateman down there had done a terrific job with her and um, her work had been really good coming into today. And we were quite confident, you know, that she'd run a nice race, but naturally we didn't want to get ahead of ourselves for the day. And But, you know, she's won in good order and she'll move on now. And... You know, we'd, we'd like to thank her owners, you know, for being very supportive and being loyal that, you know, they left her with her for a first up run where they could have easily have moved her on. So it'll be a great day for Wendy. Your great mate, Blake Sheen, he looked home on sense of occasion. Was he a bit flat after that? Because we know how much, uh, you know, Guy meant to him. Yeah, well, I think we're going to have to give him a bit of counselling tonight after getting beat on that horse. But, you know, um, he takes so much passion and so much pride in everything he does with Guy and with Wendy. and. Um, he probably builds himself up too much, so he was quite flat after getting beat. But, uh, you know, he ran terrific, that horse, and, but he'll bounce back now, and he's got a win under his belt, and he looked like he enjoyed it. Well, we've seen how emotional he is. We've seen some great scenes here. Look, this meant uh, a really lot to him. Yeah, you know, he's probably, um, probably as good as a winner that he's rode for the season, riding a winner on this day for winning for Guy. Congratulations, Pete, the way you've uh, represented the stable, mate. Well done. Thank you. Oh, I'm very keen to have a chat to Blake. Um, Blake, you've ridden some of the great w wins in Australian racing, but I reckon that one would mean a hell of a lot to you. Yeah, it, it does. Um, oh, look, it's, uh, it's a very emotional time just for the whole stable. And, geez, I can't tell you, it's, uh, it's a fitting farewell to, um, to come here today and honour Guy's career and, and end training, end Wendy's training note on a high. And, um, and there's been a lot of hard work to come into, into today and try and get their horses to perform like they have. And uh, there's been a lot of support behind the scenes and a lot of support from the, a great industry that we've had. And uh, very thankful and um, I'm sure God would be very proud and thankful to all that support as well. 150 metres out, mate. I thought, oh, no, you poor thing. You were struggling to get a break. And then when it opened, the, the emotion was, should have been, would have been unbelievable. Yeah, look, it was. Um, you know, when we drew barrier eight, uh, uh, look, I, f I went through through my head how Guy would want me to ride it. And I said to Kevin Randall and Pete, I said, it's only one way that Guy would want me to ride it, and that's quiet. And even if we got beat, as long as she'd be hitting the line hard. And, um, you know, if we're hard luck story, God would, at least God would walk away happy that she, she was going to run a great race. And when the heavens opened there, she sprinted. And, uh, you know, I think today was meant to be. It's a great day. Yeah, we're celebrating a legend today, mate. I'll let you go and uh, have a chat to Winnie. Well done. Thank you very much.